What's up? It's your girl Kia, and you are kicking it with Kia for the Mocha in the Morning Weekend Recap. Kim Kardashian wants to be a lawyer. Yeah, that's a thing in 2019. That Kim Kardashian wants to be a lawyer. She um, actually said in a recent Vogue article that if she knows more, then she can do more. Very reasonable reason to want to be a lawyer. Um, she actually doesn't have to go to law school in the state of California. All she has to do is a four-year apprenticeship, and then she plans on taking the bar in 2020. 2022. Um, rumor has it that she's actually doing her apprenticeship at with Van Jones. Um, I think some of you guys may know Van Jones from MSNBC and CNN. So good luck, Kim Kardashian. And for the record, people, I don't think she's going to be like a trial lawyer in the courtroom. I, I feel like she's going to become more of an advocate for people rather than, you know, someone in the courtroom or, or filing motions or anything like that, which is still to, to be an advocate and want to go the extra step of becoming a lawyer, I'm all for it. Next up, Coachella is this weekend. Everybody knows Coachella is a huge weekend. Um, last year, Beyonce killed the stage at Coachella. So this year, it's always now trying to one-up the Beyonce performance. It just Elba actually is DJing at Coachella, which is really cool. And this year, Donald Glover, Actually, had premiered his short film called Guava Island is starring him and Rihanna and it's kind of a musical short film and it's really cute. A lot of fans loved it and the only negative feedback I've seen so far from it is that it's so short. People want it to be like a full length musical film so it's supposed to be really good. Um, it got released on Amazon Music or Amazon Prime so definitely try to go check that out. I haven't seen it yet but I'm definitely going to check it out the second I get back home or I've stopped. Congratulations to BTS, um, the K-pop group Burn the Stage. They had an epic performance on SNL. They looked very handsome. They did a great job, so congratulations to them. So for those of you guys who don't know, there is a prestigious African-American college in Atlanta called Morehouse. Um, every every woman, this is so, so often, but every woman wants to marry a Morehouse man. That used to be like the little thing all of us girls used to say. But they are now, in 2020, going to be accepting transgender students so female transitioning into men they'll be accepting them as students and this is a completely unprecedented thing to do for for Morehouse um, there is a little bit of backlash for people who you know transitioned after they you know were went to college or something but it doesn't matter people are gonna nitpick at everything I think this is a huge step I I'm excited to see how this happens. I think more schools, specifically African-American schools in the African-American community, need to be more accepting of transgender individuals, especially with everything going on. Um, one thing we didn't get to talk about on the Mocha Morning Show is that Trump's transgender ban in the military actually went into effect on Thursday. Um, it's a huge deal. It affects almost 100,000 soldiers who are now active in the military right now who are transgender individuals or who are in the process of trans, uh, transitioning. A lot of the branches of the military are saying they're going to find a way to not abide by Trump's rule, but it is definitely in effect that transgender individuals are now, now banned. Um, huge transgender activists like Laverne Cox and um, uh, Chaz Bono have all come out and then very vocal about this being a horrible thing and I think it's a horrible thing. The entire Mocha in the Morning Show, we are pro LBGTQIA and we think this is horrible. So I've been catching up on Game of Thrones and I fell into the Game of Thrones hole. I have been watching it most of the weekend when my child is in the room. It is definitely not kid appropriate and I am definitely hooked. Um, I'm hoping to get through all the seasons before I start season eight. I'm hoping to. So it might be a week, so I might be a little bit behind, but I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, Crazy Rich Asians also was out on HBO. Make sure you check that out. I'm gonna check that out. It, you know, really blew everybody away with the imagery and the fact that it has an all Asian cast. So that's a good one. The Act on Hulu. This stars Patricia Ar Arquette and Joey King. It is about the um, Gypsy Rose Blanchard case, the girl who killed her mother with her boyfriend. It is amazingly acted. Uh, it is a great story. So interesting. You gotta check that out on Hulu. Oh my gosh, I'm on episode five right now. It is so good. Make sure you watch it. Uh, if you happen to have YouTube Premium, there is a documentary out called The Boy Band Con. It's about how a lot of the boy band groups back in the day who actually came out of Orlando were conned by their manager. Uh, I don't have YouTube Premium yet, but I'm definitely going to purchase it just so I can watch this documentary. So that is your weekend recap. Uh, if I missed anything, 
feel free to reach out to me. You can find me on Twitter at Kia Shakur. You can follow me on YouTube at um, Kia Shakur. And you can follow me on Instagram at I am Kia Giovanni. And I will talk to you on the Mocha in the Morning Show next Friday. Bye.